cosplay means something different to everybody. So today, we're gonna find out what cosplay means to the incredible cosplayers of Momocon. So I'm Casey Renee Cosplay. This is just my own gothic Rococo gown that I designed because I like both of those things, but I've never really seen them combined. So my favorite part of this costume is the stomacher, mainly obviously the embroidery. This is tambour embroidery. This is a 500 year old embroidery technique that uses a hook instead of a needle. And basically you create a chain stitch and you can hook all of your embroidery together. This particular piece has gold work in it. So I use gold chips and bullion wire to make like the knife pieces. But I've made two costumes now that have had stomacher pieces that have had major fit issues. I've never been able to nail the fit. And so I tried something completely un historically accurate and it was really successful in my opinion so I basically decided to throw out the book and just do what looks good and looks aesthetic versus what should have been done when I think like what is the happiest I can be this is what I look like yes. this is a question just for you do I smell good Oh my god, yes, you smell good. That's thanks to today's sponsor, Scentbird. Scentbird is a new way to find your favorite fragrances. They let you choose new fragrances every month for just $17. So you can try even the expensive designer brands that can be like $500 for a fraction of the cost. I have this thing with fragrances where I will only wear them for a couple months at a time because I like them to become like scent memories of that time in my life. And I also have this thing with fragrances where some of them give me a really, really bad headache. So Scentbird is the perfect solution for that. I can find and create new scent memories while not being tied to a $500 bottle that gives me a headache. I also think it's really cool that Scentbird has an entire spectrum of fragrances from masculine to gender neutral to feminine. So no matter who you are or how you identify, Scentbird has something for you. This month, I tried out Your Majesty, Sugarful and Spice, and Rose Struck. And Rose Struck has got to be my favorite. It's got this really pretty, like, like floral, but not so overpowering that it gives me a headache smell. And it just makes me feel like a fancy lady. But also, I do, I did also really like Sugarful and Spice. This one smells more like cutesy. This one smells more mature. And I recently saw Sasha Velour do this in a video where she put on two different perfumes and I just kind of, I like them together. So this is what I'm wearing to Momocon is these two scents. And if you want to try out Scentbird, you can get 55% off by using my code SPACEMAN. And that means it's just over $7 to find and create your own new scent memory. Thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Now let's go back to Momocon smelling like a very cute, fancy lady. As well, I'm wearing a fragrance from Setford as well. I go by Lux. Uh, my cosplay name is Morning Mist Cosplay, and I'm cosplaying Star Guardian Oriana from League of Legends. Um, my name is Annie. My cosplay name is Too Feral, and I'm cosplaying as Star Guardian Lux. I, I wanted the challenge of something like very intricately sewing. My little sister is like a pre-professional ballet dancer, so I kind of dedicated it to her. I learned a lot about wigs. I like did the curls for the wigs, because and I dyed it. It was originally like a really light, light pink color. I used um, Rhett Dye More. I wanted the color to have dimension, so I uh, dyed it with the curlers in and then again with the curlers taken out. I used like perm rods and I had to use like 90 of them, so it was like really time consuming. There's 12 layers of like individually gathered uh, net in this to hold up the skirt structure. Uh, I kind of did it in a fever dream. And I am not good with props. I sew. This was figuring out props, figuring out dimensions, like using warbler and foam clay. It was some of my first times doing that. <laughs> I think like the most difficult part was styling the bangs because normally I just use my own natural hair for cosplay so like I don't know how straight hair works so I was a lot of like fighting a flat iron and curling iron and hair dryer. An important part of this is this tapers off which gives it a really really nice transition and reduces bulk around the seams and this would be really really bulky if I didn't taper it. <laughs> we met through cosplay. Yeah. <laughs> Throughout the years we kept cosplaying together and got together as a couple and I've never been happier in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Yian Huang. Um, today I'm cosplaying Cloud Stripe from Final Fantasy VII. When I was a kid, I really wanted to cosplay him seeing other things, but I just didn't think it was possible to make like a six foot sword. Size wise, it's sort of a technical nightmare. And for me at the time, I was a college student, so I had no money and I used the cheapest materials possible. So it was made of floor mat foam. 
and that was the biggest issue for it. So the core of it is floor mat foam, the outside is high, slightly higher quality foam. I want to use floor mat foam because it was way cheaper, but the floor mat foam was had to sand it down to make it flat and whatnot. Uh, there's a PVC pipe running through the whole thing. I really like the two materials in it. I did not make it myself. I got it off Etsy, but I really think it rounds out the entire look of the sword with the light. And, Especially in lighting like this, it looks amazing. My name is Lisa Renee. I am cosplaying an entire Nintendo Switch, and it is from uh, the Nintendo. So it's made of a bunch of cardboard boxes, um, paper plate, a couple of wine bags. Um, these weird styrofoam posts that are actually how I'm holding them up inside are the buttons as well. So the buttons are made out of styrofoam. Got a bunch of tape and a lot of hot glue. I'm a whole video game system. Like, I feel so cool. Like. Some people tell me I would, they wish I had a screen in the middle, but I was like, honestly, that's inviting too many people to kind of like touch me a little more. Yeah, so I appreciate like, oh, press the buttons. Like, that's cute. That's far away from me, you know? Like, don't touch my actual body. <laughs> that's all. Thank you. I've literally been here for five minutes and I haven't even made it like into the con yet. My name is Kai. I'm cosplaying Pyramid Head from Silent Hill. So from furries and how they build their suits, I found out if you double thread, it makes seams more secure for all the little patches on the skin suit. They're all hand looped. So all of these, I took the skirt pattern and just cut it up and played skin suit puzzle for about two months. And then after that, dyed it with a uh, right dye and then had to hand stitch every single piece and then did an acrylic wash over it. I feel Can powerful. I, okay. <laughs> uh, my name is Peyton Doubleday. I'm from Spirited Away and I'm cosplaying Chihiro. And I have a little Haku here as well. I did my research and trying to make sure that my garments were as traditional as possible. I didn't use any like buttons or anything like that. So everything's like a tie. I will say I did cheat a little bit and there's some Velcro here. As far as like the pants and the patterns and like why she was wearing this outfit. She works in the bathhouse. So this is kind of like a worker's uniform. So this was the first time I made kind of like a fuzzy prop. I have made some like weapons before and things like that, but this is definitely a big jump for me. I was able to kind of make my own pattern and figure out what that was. It was a little bit of trial and error. So he is made from EVA from head, uh, which was hand pattern. Same thing with his whiskers and horns. And then uh, he is airbrushed uh, with a little bit of fake fur. His eyeballs are made out of little plastic Christmas ornaments. But on the inside is polyfill. And he's just kind of like a giant stuffed animal, basically. He is held up with straps. So Chihiro would normally have those straps there anyway. So it still kind of fits. It was kind of like a happy accident. I really like the flower elements to my costume. I like kind of bringing my own touch to things. And I feel like the flowers were a really important element to the movie. So that's why I chose to incorporate them. And he also has them on his back as well. Those, those are probably my favorite, yeah. Hi, my name is Katie Pottle. I am cosplaying as Princess Bubblegum for Adventure Time. This is based off her royal tart design in the other tarts episode. And I was so inspired by your strawberry dresses that I decided to make my own strawberry dress. Oh. I have been watching Adventure Time since I was like 12 years old and I absolutely love Prince Balgum. You know, she's pretty, she's pink, she's a woman in STEM, we all love that. This dress took me about two years to learn. I learned about different materials and how to work with them, how to do beading, embroidery. The strawberries are made of just like a foam and then batting on top. And then I put a velvet on top and I used these pearl beads and I just did kind of like a tufting, which is used in upholstery. And my favorite part of this is the corset. This took me about two weeks of beading to do and I was so happy with it. I was just, I was literally so excited. <laughs> I feel like all those years of hard work and learning how to sew and putting this all together, it just feels like it's a breath of relief and just so much excitement. I'm just so happy right now. Yeah. Um, my name is Cam. I'm doing Rain from the Owl House slash like Spider-Man because there's a photo shoot for Owl House and then there's a Spider-Man thing with like all the spider red so I'm trying to get to both. Oh <laughs> It's spider Raid. It's just an AU in an alternate universe, man. <laughs> My name is Lane. I'm being Ida from the Owl House. My name is Fog, and I'm cosplaying Lilith from the Owl House. I'm Ghost. I'm cosplaying Willow from the Owl House. I'm Aether. I'm cosplaying Hunter from the Owl House. I made this instrument out of 10 millimeter foam, hot glue, and a dream. This was put together in a few hours, and I'm very proud of myself. I actually learned to sew for this, my first time ever sewing, and dyeing clothes. Well, I learned how to make our palismans. I 3D printed them, and then I sanded them so much, and I painted them, and I think they look really good. I made both of our palismans, and I love them dearly. <laughs> my favorite part of my cosplay is just my instrument in general, because everyone's like, is it real? And I'm like, yes, it is. <laughs> it plays in everything. I kind of used to play. Don't ask me to play anything. I don't know anymore. <laughs>
My name's Amanda. I'm cosplaying Daisy May from Animal Crossing. My turnips are made out of styrofoam cubes that I then carved, and then I wrapped plaster of Paris around it and painted them and stuck in some floral leaves. Oh my goodness, I learned how to sew, so I never played with a sewing machine before. I do hand embroidery, but I've never used a machine. So I got to sew the whole skirt. Friend helped me out, it was a lot of fun. I feel cute. And I, I like to see people uh, turn and point and recognize it, and I can just tell it. Give them a smile. My name's Catherine. People call me Pikachu girl. People also call me Pikachu queen. 11, 12 years ago for my first Momocon, I saw lots of people, like they would dress as Pikachus. So I wanted to be different. And so I would take Pikachus and just put them on myself. And then no one told me to stop. And now we're here. The whole thing, the base, it's an original Pokemon jacket I've had since I was a kid. And then it's basically has panels and panels of fabric just attached to it. It got to the point where it was stretching the uh, jacket so much that about a year or two ago, I actually put the whole thing on a camper's backpack frame. So the whole thing can be put on like a backpack. Then it's held together with hopes and dreams and a copious amounts of safety pins. We estimate that it weighs somewhere between 80 to 90 pounds, but you know, I will, I will suffer for the craft. When I started, I started with, I wanna say 10. Every year I tried to add more. Last year I had 109. This year I added another 40 or so. I've got 156 this year. I like how happy it makes people. Like, I, I make it a game uh, of how far I can walk before I hear a reaction. The stop, the look, the holy crap, the Jesus Christ, the, <laughs> that's a lot of Pikachus. Just the illicit reactions that I get is, is my favorite part. Hi, I'm Maya. I'm Toad. Hi, I'm Kayla and I'm cosplaying Toadette. Hi, I'm Aaliyah and I'm cosplaying as Female Bilder. Hi, my name is Paris. I'm cosplaying uh, Princess Peach. Oh, I'm the shortest out this bunch and I get called Toad all the time. The hat. This is just a lot of cardboard together and then got some like Celtic fabric and I just patched it on here. Um, hot glue is the answer to everything until it's not because it's like falling apart and I never expected this to work out the way it did. Um, so she actually came up with the hair idea because we wanted to try and like co like copy her pigtails. Um, so we were just like, we got some fake hair, we braided it up, and then that's why I got the nails. For my crown, I got like a gold sheet of foam, and then for the jewels, I had air dry clay, and then I just painted that and stuck them on there. So at first, it was a little hard because I kept, I had like the foam sheets, and I kept messing up like the shape on how to do it, and then when I finally got it, I just hot glued like the two pieces together and then put like another little, like, little foam sheet on the bottom. And then I grabbed some air, air dry clay foam and then I just rolled those up, put those bad boys on there. The mushroom in the middle is also um, air dry foam. I think this is like huge and it was chaotic trying to get in the car, but it was absolutely worth it at the end. Um, I love everything about it. I'm Joy. I'm cosplaying as Euphemia from Code Geass. I'm Kim. I'm cosplaying C2, also from the artwork version. We've been cosplaying for how long? Like 10, 10, 10 or so years now. And our first cosplay together was actually these characters in these exact dresses. I learned how to work with Organza, how to work with, but I basically roll hemmed it. I tried my best to do it with like the roll hem foot, but it doesn't really work as well for the fabric. So it was kind of a struggle. A lot of snipping and a lot of rehemming. I think same with her organza. I was working with Chiffon, so then I learned what a Moscow seam was. So like a Moscow seam is that it's basically a baby hem, so you like sew the initial run and then you iron it and then you sew it again and then you fold it, iron it, and then sew it again. So like each one of these is three rounds of sewing all the way around. It took maybe like two hours each sleeve. So she can actually flip it in and out and it's reversible. I don't have a serger, so I don't have a serger yet. So I've been like lining it so you can at least flip it inside and not see the seams yet. Seeing the work we put in and the work we put in into our makeup and everything and seeing it all finally come together makes me like the happiest in the world, so. My name is Brijanya. I'm cosplaying Princess Tiana from The Princess and the Frog. I feel like the movie connects to me on a deeper level regarding how passionate she was about her goals and her dreams. And that movie has a huge message about like valuing what you have that is unseen. 
I saw this in a thrift store and I connected the dots. My headpiece, um, I glued together with leaves, um, hot glue and wire, and then I just pinned it in my head. I feel really beautiful and I'm just grateful to be here. So my name is Avery. I'm cosplaying Mommy from Majoka Manka. This piping was made from the same fabric as the skirt, which is actually made of curtains. The curtains are from a thrift store. It's actually surprisingly hard to find yellow, like faux velvety fabric. And so I was at the thrift store one time and they had them and they were like $5 each and they had four of them, which was amazing. The piping was made with just standard piping that you can buy in the packages from Joanne and then folding the curtain fabric over it in little strips and then sewing it down. My favorite part is probably the corset. It just has so much going on. The trim has little butterflies, which is like a nod to um, all the different butterflies that show up in the witch's labyrinth in the fight scene with mommy and I just think that's so fun. My name is Lab. I like to go by Lab. I am cosplaying Big Mom from One Piece, Charlotte Linlin. So I would say the hardest part was kind of everything because this is my first cosplay that I kind of put a lot of hands on. So this dress is pre-made but I dyed it. I first time using a crit cut, iron on vinyl and this a lot of first steps like I don't know what contact cement was like EVA foam. I was going to Home Depot to buy like PVC pipe and they're like what are you making? I'm like gardening stuff, gardening stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the core is a PVC pipe that's been shaped to more D shape of this and it's stacked with insulation foam one inch three layers then uh, coated with a thin layer of EVA foam. She has originally a white um, just regular cloth cape or yellow one. However, I wanted to do my own twist and I want it to be more like pizzazz. So I went with a bridal cape and she doesn't have crystals so it looks nice when I'm moving, movement in the wind. So just a little more mm for the cosplay. I put all this labor in the dark, it just in my house, and I, I finally get to showcase it to the people. Uh, I'm Jay, and my Instagram at is Foxbin. I'm cosplaying Prince Sidon from uh, Breath of the Wild slash Tears of the Kingdom, which is a Zelda game. My name is Ellie, I'm cosplaying Link. My name is Ava, I'm cosplaying Zelda. I tend to like like princely characters. I like making things that are very extravagant. I feel like I learned a lot, actually. This is the first time I fully lined a cosplay before, and also just working with a lot of materials I hadn't worked with before. Like the sequin fabric, I've never worked with fabric that's had like a lot of sequins and stuff. It was interesting to figure out how to put it together so the sequins didn't fall off. Hand embroidery is my hell, and I don't ever want to do it again. <laughs> and I'll probably use a sewing machine next time. I bought the cosplay like the base of it but I bought it in advance because I know I was gonna want to like mess with it a lot so I just got an embroidery hoop and I like just moved it around the whole thing I did it with these bracers too this one was probably the worst it's very comfy I do love the parts that I embroidered so <laughs> my favorite part about it it's the um, flat shoes and the comfortable pants my favorite part is how sparkly it is I just like how sparkly everything is. I shine. Um, my name is Tessa Bobo, and I am cosplaying Zelda, of course, from Tears of the Kingdom. When did you make this? <laughs> so I ended up making this like right as the third trailer came out, and I was like, I can, I can do this by game release, you know. So I finished it for a midnight release at GameStop, you know. I had um, four or five blurry pictures from the trailer, and wanting to get it as accurate as possible, and making the guesstimations. Of course, like before the game came out, I didn't know it was a high-low skirt. Ended up doing the pleating before I knew her skirt was pleated. I, that was just a lucky guess on my part. The tabard is a bunch of EVA foam that I like drew the pattern out and I did something kind of cheaty like you would learn in middle school where you draw your design out on paper with like a graphite pencil and I had white EVA foam and I like used a lot of pressure like and a pencil on the back of that drawing and like transferred the drawing out onto my EVA phone so I could cut everything out so precisely. That was something I'm like I will have to use this technique again. I absolutely love Zelda especially like that symbolism of being like just the lonely princess who has this hidden power in herself. It was kind of a hype thing too. <laughs> yeah, definitely a hype thing. <laughs> Did you know these are actually called I was told this when I did my bucket cosplay. They, the historical term for these is a mon monastic spac spacula or something monastic like that. Spacula. It's something like that. Oh my Tabards are like something totally different, but only the like really hardcore historical people know that. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Alex. I am cosplaying uh, Alphonse Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, huh? Uh, it was very uh, a daunting cosplay to do. 
and it took me a while to like finally get it right, but I think I did it right. Definitely a trial and error, um, <laughs> working things out, doing things again to get it the way that you want it to. It's a uh, peppercorn file that I enlarge to fit myself, and just like any like cosplay pattern, you put it together like a puzzle, you prime it, paint it, weather it, and this is what you get. This is made of EVA foam, a combination of like four millimeter and six millimeter. The feather I got on the back of the cosplay is made out of fishing line I put together uh, one at a time, uh, gluing them all together. Um, you can tell a lot of like emotion from a head, even if you don't see the person's face, the way you emote, with the way you move, definitely comes forth from like a head. Uh, Raz Sabella cosplay, and it's Esmeralda J's fan art of Victorian rose quartz. Oh, I just got it. <laughs> She's a rose quartz. I saw it like five years ago, and I decided that I wanted to test my abilities. So I was like, why not do something I've been dreaming of doing? So there's so many different things that I learned. Beating and shearing vertically and horizontal. These are swags or raunching. In, in the sewing machine, you have a bobbin in the bottom. You make the elastic taunt elastic string and then you just sew in a straight line oh, it wow. raunches it together my favorite part is the top there's so much to it like if you weren't up close you wouldn't see how much detail there is it was very intricate to get put together i'm supposed to have like drill curls i could not get them and i was like you know what we're gonna do it my way <laughs> i feel like a pretty little princess my name is dana i'm a cosplayer i'm cosplaying ami from hi hi puffy ami yumi and i'm shay i'm cosplaying yumi from hi hi puffy ami yumi <laughs> It seems forgotten and yeah. it's a very like niche thing and every time someone comes up they're like oh my god like I love this show as a kid we don't like, want oh, it. I thought it was a fever dream yeah I forgot this existed <laughs> this is my first time actually making something float on my head this was a journey I used one wire at first but I tried to like use two to make it seem like it's still floating but also have to make it secure basically um so I use a white BVA uh, glue basically like Elmer's glue or you could use uh, Mod Podge but it's still watered down so I I would recommend like Elmer's glue and like one ball is different from the other one because I perfected the second one <laughs> from learning from the mistakes of the first one my favorite part I mean I, I think it's the wig but that's the only thing that I didn't do. Like she did both of the wigs for us. The bracelets and the uh, the choker. It's the first time I made anything like this. Like I'm I'm a baby cosplayer. Like this is the first time I'm really getting into it. So making this really made me feel like like I'm part of the crowd. Yeah. yeah. My name is Brooklyn. I go by Honey Rabbit on social media. I am Star Guardian Nico from League of Legends. Learned a lot about 3D printing. This is 3D printed. The little wings were all one piece, each printed individually. I think the larger wings took like two days to print one of them. And then it's this crazy contraption of a base with all these like clear plastic rods that go into it. And yeah, you just use a lot of resin and a lot of body shopping and sanding and it looked pretty clean. The tail is like this giant um, like wide inserted plush tail that I can pose and shape to whatever I want to be. It's really fun, it's very dramatic and very oversized, which is always like my favorite part of cosplaying. And then, in your own words, what is cosplay? Uh, cosplay is an art that you can use to express what you love and, and how you love well it. Wellspring of self-expression. Expressing yourself. An expression of your creativity for the stuff that you love. You can be something that you want to be outside of the bounds of normal life. It's a way for me to become someone that I can't, just for one day. Like if you see yourself in that character, you get to embody that for a day and that's really cool. Being able to be the you that you want to It's like I have really bad social skills, um, but like with cosplay it's sort of like there's already like that connection of like you're really passionate about like the same thing so it's way easier to make friends. Yeah, I'm like very neurodivergent so it's like hard to find a personality so I kind of embody the characters. You escape reality for a little bit. Dressing up in your own imagination. Just pretend for adults. It's a lot of fun. Fun. It's like whatever makes you feel the happiest. It's passion for a fan base that you enjoy. Doesn't matter how, what, or when you look, you can bring your own character to life and no one's gonna judge you for it. The community is what makes cosplay. Like, you don't have to dress up, you don't have to be in a costume, but just 
being at the convention and being yourself is just, it's so important to me and everyone else here. And I really love that about cosplay. Let me know what cosplay is in your own words in the comments. And if you like this video, I did another one just like it for KatsuCon this year, so you should check that one out. And thanks for all the love on that first one. I've wanted to do videos like this for a long time. Because, you know, most of the time my channel is about my own cosplay, but I want to make sure that I show everybody that cosplay can be so many different things to so many different people. Thanks again to the cosplayers of Momocon for letting me interview them. Thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Remember, you can get 55% off by using my code SPACEMAN, so check out the links in the description. And if you want to support the channel directly, you can check out my Patreon where you'll get some exclusive content, but if you're just watching, liking, commenting, sharing the video with your friend or your mom, or subscribing, then you're supporting the channel too. So thank you. Oh, and if you would like to be in one of these videos, the best way for you to do that is to join the Spacecraft Discord, which is a Discord that we have dedicated to learning about cosplay, all kinds of different techniques, and making friends, and being a part of the community. And there are no dumb questions. It's literally in the rules. Then there were lots of people from the Spacecraft Discord in this video, and I usually let everybody know in the Discord where I'm going to be at the con so that they can be in it if they want to. So. Join that if you want to. Anyway, thanks. Bye. Thank you to the patrons. Morning Mist Cosplay, Jennifer, Lunar Lepis Cosplay, Sherry, Hadil, No Roman, LOL, Amai Jelly, Veli Slava, Hannah, Fake Smiley 7, Sebastian, Amar, Simrel, Matcha Kit Kat, Deli Rai, Mina, Stephanie, Mo, Bailey, Almi Fox, Alora Polaris Cosplay, Aaron, Tamaki Potato, Gabby Bear, Neil, Jessica, Renee, Sarah, Kiwi Hikos, Lapis, Rhonda, Another Zip Tie, Hazel, Alec, Lady Senshi, Rambuland Cosplay, MT Gret, Free Wings Cosplay, Jenna, Ashton, Constance, Frosty Blade, Rory, Kimberly, Tam Tam the Tailor, Ray Sparks, Legfish, Swingularity, Amanda, Paul, Joby, GT Cosplay, Zihibi, Cal, Zanzuffle, Flair, Claudia, Katie, Snot Muncher, Allison, Queen Platypus, Reverie Rose 16, Taylor, Tessa Bo, Haley, Alyssa, Max, Akima Aki, Chibi Lease, Rainbow Lola, Gloom Shroom, Infinite Salad, Meba, Kel, Hubasta, Mads, Ollie, Boondingles, The King Theory, Magda, Paint It So, Sky, Ash, Sleepy Ellie, Audrey, Allison, Spacey, Stitches, Foxy, McLoxy, Sunny, Coco, Yumi, Skasa, Ariana, Articus, Minor, Reina, Food Penguin, Emmy, Alyssa, Stephanie, Katie, Experimental Blue, Toby, Shellman, Alice, Lena, Sostra, Slushpuff, aka Corn Copy, Avandaria, Samantha, Faybound, Adriana, Amber, Kim, Fennec, Emma, Kaimatsu, Block Kitty DJ, Meredith, Sarah, Taylor, Kiri Draws, Cowbones, Bianca, Lunar, Gaia, Lularush, Cosplay, Delos, Fluffy Hair, Marcy, So Into Music, Amelia, Julian, Cam, Zen, Pin, Snip, and Claire. Ooh.